So I'm going to talk about my experience trying to source injectors for this old school SARD fuel rail. Um, this is not going to be a guide about injectors completely because I'm not an expert. Uh, I'm just going to share my experiences and the mistakes I've made and hopefully you don't make the same mistakes because injectors can be quite confusing, especially these top feed things. So if you don't know much about injectors, like I didn't know once upon a time, these are actually for a Subaru, but they're very similar to uh, non-VVTi 1JZ injectors. So these are side feed. Uh, basically, the fuel goes in here. They sit in a rail with like a circular mount. That's what non-VVTi has. These are factory VVTi injectors. Uh, one thing to note is these side feeds generally come in a maximum of 850cc, uh, but they're generally smaller. They can modify them to be bigger, uh, but these 1JZ factory ones... See, I don't know much about them. I'm going to guess they're about 440 cc's. That's just a guess. Don't quote me. Uh, and then aftermarket injectors go right up to 2200, maybe 2400. But let's just say 2200 uh, cc injectors. And that's the amount of flow amount of fuel they flow at a certain fuel pressure. Uh, these ones here that I have, these are Bosch 1000 cc's. Uh, they're actually 980 to 1100 cc. There are calculators online that you can look at what size injector, uh, I think what size fuel pump, etc., etc your base fuel pressure and how much horsepower by the number of injectors you have you can make for that size injector. Also, one thing I do know is if you go to a anything above about a 1600cc injector, it is too big for pump gas on the road in order to get a decent idle. So I am told. All right, uh, and then lastly, this here is also a Bosch 1000cc. Uh, we'll talk about this one a little later on. This is another WRX injector. Okay, so I bought these secondhand. I had no idea what I was buying uh, because I'd bought this rail. Now, I have a non-VVTi engine. If you... Uh, okay, yeah, so this is a VVTi fuel rail. If you have a non-VVTi engine, you can actually replace this piece of the manifold. So this is also from a VVTi. It's identical i.e. the bolt pattern is identical, and so you can use a VVTi rail with this section of a VVTi manifold and then go to top feed injectors. I think, well, there obviously is, but there is non-VVTi rails to suit the non-VVTi manifold piece, uh, but if you have a VVTi rail, you need the VVTi Manifold, manifold piece. Uh, okay. Now, these, this rail here has an 11 mil hole up in there. So where that injector goes, it's 11 millimeters. Some are 14 millimeters. As this 
O-ring, as is the top of this injector here. So if you have a look here, this is actually larger, so it won't fit in this rail. How do we solve that? You use an adapter. So this here adapts it from 14 mil at the top to 11 mil at the 14 mil at the bottom to 11 mil at the top. Okay. Um, now these are missing an O-ring. There's an O-ring meant to go on there. Uh, but as you can see here, I've adapted the top, but the bottom doesn't fit. So I bought some bottom adapters and they are wrong. So see how this has got a round O-ring on the bottom and this piece has a shoulder. The O-rings that fit this manifold, which go in there, are in fact these 16 millimeter or 15.8 millimeter square. I'm not gonna put that in, but that goes in there just like on the bottom of our factory injector. But this bottom piece does not work. So these bottom pieces come without this shoulder and they're just a shaft and that square O-ring then slides on and it makes up the bottom half of the injector. So it's the same as a factory one. In fact, it would look like that's, this is one with the wrong piece, but the O-ring using one of, where did I put it? There. Using one of these O-rings would then look correct. So the 11 mil top, the height of the O-rings are all correct. Uh, so essentially I bought the wrong bottom piece. Um, now, I did have this part here, which is a Raceworks injector boss, which I have put here. And it too is for 1J, 2JZ. Now, when I went to go see the fuel injector shop uh, today, the guy said, he pulled some of these off the shelf. He put an O-ring on there and he said, look, you can do this and they'll be perfect. And I said, well, I've got those bits at home. He says, that's great. Well, you sorted. You don't need to buy anything new because I could take the round O-ring off these, that round O-ring there, use this boss that I already had that comes in a pack of six from Raceworks, Bob's your uncle. Well, I just tried that here and I don't think that's gonna work because if I put the boss here and I butt that up against there, if I push on the injector, there's this much play here. And then if I push it up, this pops out, which Given the fact that the fuel rail's bolted down and these factory injectors are held captive, I don't think that's the correct solution. Perhaps he showed me some taller bosses, uh, but that's not going to work. So essentially what I've got to do is I've got to either send these back and get the one that doesn't have this shoulder that will fit my square O-rings that I bought, or I get these things that are a bit taller. Basically, what you're trying to do is you're trying to make, well, no, okay, because this is a Zard rail, it's designed to work with factory dimension injectors. If you buy a, oh, who makes rails? PRP. Say you buy a PRP fuel rail, the way they space their fuel rail from here might mean that it needs different length injectors. So if this didn't have the long tip on it, from here to here, there's normally an O-ring here, is a short injector. Uh, and theirs might be 
14 mil at the top and you know 14 mil at the bottom and then yes you could use these bosses so all i'm saying is don't just go buy bits and pieces like me <laughs> if you can take your rail take some measurements take the manifold and talk to somebody who knows what they're doing um, unfortunately I didn't have the rail I didn't have the manifold when I went to the injector shop uh, and also didn't pay attention as to what collars he recommended when he said I could use these he might have got it wrong too because you know he did not see the application that I was using them against so that's lengthening the, lengthening the injectors now I've got this other Subaru injector here I'll just take this off. This is just a Subaru-specific piece to fit the Subaru manifold. Now, the fuel rails that I got with these things, I cannot use because they're missing parts. The fuel rails are missing parts. So I was going to buy some new fuel rails. The problem is the new fuel rails use these shorter injectors as short injectors. What does that mean? Well, this injector is way too long. So on the Subaru manifold, where the distance this fuel rail is from where it mounts on the manifold is shorter than what this injector is. So the injector would be sitting, you know, not into the rail, but like, way past here because the rail would be down further so you can end up with too long of an injector see these can't be shortened they're not uh they don't have any adapters on them whereas this injector is a short one and it's been adapted to become a longer injector this one is a long injector that cannot be shortened. Um, don't ask me about the specific sizes. They're short, three quarter, full length, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that's my experience with trying to find parts just to put some injectors in my rail. Thanks for watching. Click like if it was helpful.